I'm Agnes Kukulska-Hume, lead author of the 2021 Innovating Pedagogy Report on new forms of teaching, learning and assessment. Our latest report is the result of a collaboration between the Institute of Educational Technology at the Open University and colleagues at Beijing Foreign Studies University. We work together with our partners to combine our expertise and our ideas about emerging trends and uh, practices. We jointly selected the 10 most promising pedagogical innovations and then jointly researched these innovations and co-authored the report. The innovations point to certain trends, for example, a trend towards cultivating positive attitudes among students and teachers, these being particularly helpful in times of uncertainty and change. In our report, we propose gratitude as a pedagogy which involves reflecting on attitude in order to bring about improvements in well-being, in learning, in relationships. We also highlight an approach that we call best learning moments, with its focus on feelings and mental states associated with enjoyable and effective learning. Another important emerging topic is using chatbots in learning. Chatbots can offer guidance and help students solve some problems especially when a teacher is not available to help. They can also be used to combat loneliness, stress or anxiety. Several other innovations in the report are concerned with providing fair chances to all students and enabling greater participation. For example, equity-oriented pedagogy asks how every student in a class can achieve similar positive outcomes even though they have different backgrounds and characteristics. One way to work towards fairness and equity is through student co-created teaching and learning, where students are working with teachers to produce learning materials and assessments, and students can offer suggestions by trying out new course materials and giving feedback for improvements. Sometimes elements of students' cultures can also be incorporated into course materials and curricula. An example of this in our report is hip-hop based education, which uses elements such as rap music texts, performances, videos, art and dancing. When there is an opportunity to adopt any innovation, we may look for evidence that the innovation will work and will bring certain benefits. In our report, we cover evidence-based teaching, which aims to identify reliable evidence to support aspects such as the development of learning skills, feedback to students, or conditions that make homework practices um, more effective. So I hope you enjoy reading our latest report and we of course welcome your feedback. Thank you very much.